hello now in this presentation we will uh, discuss the additive property before we go to the derivation of the property take an example so that what we are going to derive we will try to discuss with the example so that it will be convinced easily later we can do the derivation take this example as three symbols are there s1 s2 s3 with the probabilities 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 now using a pi log 1 by pi a entropy equation if i find a entropy i got 1.5 bits take another example in this i have taken a four symbols and four probabilities i found the entropy entropy i got 1.75 bits per message symbol try to understand these examples the first example i have taken s1 s2 s3 and probabilities were 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 i got a entropy 1.5 bits per message symbol in another one i took a s1 s2 s3 s4 s1 s2 probabilities were same 1 by 2 1 by 4 but s3 i have divided into two sub symbols you can take it as s3 1 s3 2 like that or you can take s3 s4 only probability is 1 by 4 are divided into 1 by 8 1 by 8 i got the entropy 1.75 another example are taken s4 is divided into two sub symbols s4 s5 or you can take s4 1 s4 2 like that also probability is 1 by 8 are divided into 1 by 16 1 by 16 there is no rule that i have to take divided by 2 only but ensure that after adding those two probabilities it should become equal to the previous probability i got the entropy 1.875 bits per message symbol now by observing these three examples you can say h double dash h s double dash is greater than h s dash which is greater than h s so when you partition symbols into sub symbols that will not decrease the entropy that only are going to prove in this particular proof consider a memoryless information source with the q symbols s1 to sq and p equal to i have a probability is p1 up to pq and what i am doing sq symbol i am dividing into n sub symbols sq1 sq2 sq3 up to sq n and similarly the probabilities i am dividing into a pq1 pq2 up to pqn and in most of the textbook they take divide p sq only i pq probabilities only they divide even if you take middle or somewhere also no problem because we know h of p1 comma p2 is equal to h of p2 comma p1 let h of s is given by h of p1 up to pq pq equal to pq1 plus pq2 up to pqn pq i am writing equation summation j equal to 1 to n pqj then splitted entropy is given by h dash of s equal to h of p1 p2 up to pq minus 1 i suppose write pq but pq value i am substituting pq1 pq2 up to pqn we know the entropy equation is given by pi log 1 by pi now what i do simply i am writing a entropy equation for this h dash of s equal to pi log 1 by pi range i'll take i equal to 1 to q minus 1 and another is for uh, pq1 to pqn i am writing the entropy equation now let us use the same equation now what i am doing the sum i have taken summation i equal to 1 to q actually i should take q minus 1 so i have taken up to q means one extra i have taken that i am subtracting for that i am writing equation substitute the value of pq from the equation number 1 in the above equation we are going to get the equation this what i have done in this simply pq value i have substituted let us take a same equation and now take a summation j equal to 1 to n common 
PQJ is also common between the two terms and uh, using a log formulas I can uh, simplify it this minus term I have taken inside now I simplify and I write the next line before that simply I multiply and divide by PQ using a log rule I simplify this is as it is I have written only log a minus log b is nothing but log a by b you write so like that you have written now multiply pq and divide by pq from this i can say h dash of s is equal to h of s plus k pi log 1 by pi is h of s all of us know and the second term let us take it as a k now h dash of s equal to h of s plus a positive quantity why is it positive because pq j is always less than or equal to pq reason is pq only we are dividing into so many probabilities therefore this is a conclusion h dash of h is greater than or equal to h of s hence i can say the partitioning of symbols into sub symbols cannot decrease the entropy